thought we'd take a minute to talk about uh, the angle addition postulate and how to solve a problem involving the angle addition postulate. Uh, it's been kind of a problem with some people, so we thought we'd just look at it for a minute. The idea of the angle addition postulate refers to when you have an angle that has a point in between the sides of the angle, um, so it splits it up essentially into two angles. The idea is that this big angle here, so the, the big one, so angle in this case DCF, is actually equal to the sum, or the measure of this, I'm sorry, is actually equal to the sum of the smaller ones. So one of the smaller ones is DCE, and then maybe I want the other one to be, or I can't choose, it's already there for me, ECF. It's simply the idea that a large angle is actually made up of two smaller angles if there's a point there uh, in between the two sides. Now, uh, when you solve problems using the angle addition postulate, the hardest part in most cases is really not setting it up. It's a pretty simple concept. It's the idea of making sure that your setup uh, relates to the picture and not necessarily the way that a problem gives you information. That seems to be the biggest problem um, just in my experience as far as getting these correct. So let's look at a sample problem and uh, see if we can figure it out. So for this one. Uh, I need to find the measurement of angle WXZ if the measurement of ZXY equals X plus 143, the measurement of WXY is equal to 179, and the measure of WXZ is equal to 42 plus X. Now, I mean, there's WXZ, so it matches here, but this isn't one of the answer choices. I can just choose 42 plus X. That would be nice, right? Uh, the key here is not to just start writing things down because there's numbers. That's like the big scare. You immediately start writing numbers down. The idea is to make sure things are set up in an appropriate way. The big angle here is right here. It looks, uh, just naked eye, about a straight line, so it's 180 degrees. Unfortunately, you can't assume that it is unless it's specifically stated. In fact, it's 179 degrees, which is one degree less, and it's almost uh, impossible with, for the naked eye to be able to see something that small in that uh, little you know, difference between the two. So I know that this is the big angle, so I'm going to set this up. Measurement of angle W, X, Y is equal to. Now, all I have to do from here is just look at the two other angles. So I've got this one. This is WXZ, so I'm going to do measurement of WXZ. And then I'm going to look at the other one, which is, I think in this problem I called mine ZXY, but you could have called it YXZ, it doesn't matter, as long as the uh, middle point or the kind of the vertex is in the middle like it is here. So. But I'm going to stick with my ZXY thing. There you go. So now that it's set up, it's really simple. You just basically go through and solve. I'm going to substitute the values in. WXY is 179. Uh, measurement of WXZ is 42 plus X. And I'm going to add that to ZXY. And from here, I just solve it out. The reason that this works, by the way, it's kind of like if I had a dollar and then I had it 75 cents and 25 cents, well, the two smaller parts are equal to the dollar. The biggest problem is when people, and we will solve this, the biggest problem is when you just look at the problem and you start setting it up. If you just set it up in order, what is most likely to happen is this x plus 143 ends up right here, and you set it equal to 179 plus 42 plus x. That matches the order that the problem gives you information, but it doesn't at all match what the actual picture says. So make sure you go back and do that. Now, uh, from here, it's like uh, clean your room, so you combine like terms. So I've got two x's there. And then I can add these two together. So 143 plus 42 is 185. And I bring this down. I subtract 185. Negative 6 and I divide by 2 here, and x equals negative 3. So it's right here, right? If you look at the answer choices, it's right there. 
but that's not what the question asks. The question asks, what is the measurement of WXZ? That's the other problem that you can run into with most of these problems. It's not really that they're hard, it's just that they're kind of tricky. So if I had WXZ and I know it's 42 plus X, I'm just going to do 42 plus X, and where the X is, I'm going to plug in negative 3, and then I work that out and it gives me 39 degrees. So right there. Now, if you're interested, I'll throw an extra problem up here and uh, let you take a shot at it. I'll have another one of these up so that you can see the solution. So this is the one we're going to work on. The measurement of angle EFG is equal to 31X plus 2. The measurement of angle EFC is equal to 34. This is supposed to be a 34. It's the worst written 34 ever. And the measurement of angle CFG is equal to 16X minus 2. Your goal is to find the measure of EFG using this drawing. The answer choices, uh, 64 degrees, 66 degrees, 2 degrees, and negative 10 degrees. So give it a shot and see how well it works for you.